Captain Flatulence, you did it again. You put a portal in the middle of the floor of the lab. Where are we, dude? Ha! <sighs> We're in Sky Factory. I've got a mission for today's episode. I kind of want to get iron. Iron is actually pretty easy to get, but it takes a long time. So I'm basically going to show you guys how to do this. I have to be really quick, though, because... I've already destroyed more than half of this tree, and the tree is now going to start and decay. We need to make a load of slabs, and we need to put them on the lower half. A very important step, put them on the lower half of the dirt block. Another thing I need to do is I need to create a bunch of sticks, and I need to make what's called a crook. Captain Hit! <laughs> Am I not going to get a sapling from this first tree if I don't get a sapling? <gasps> I got two saplings. That's nice, isn't it, Captain Fletcher? Right. That's what you deserve for putting a portal in my lab. <laughs> so we now have, from one dirt tree, we've got two dirt saplings. Another thing I wanted to show you guys is to grow trees, you literally have to twerk it to work it. <laughs> Look at this. It just grew. <laughs> And do I camouflage, by the way? Okay, so now that I've collected a bunch of wood and a bunch of trees for this, I'm going to show you guys how to make a piece of dirt. Watch this. All I have to do is type in dirt, go up here, press this little dirt icon, and boom. Three pieces of dirt. Okay, and also another thing we're going to need to do. So in the crafting table, I'm going to make slabs, right? And with these slabs, I'm going to make a couple of things that we're going to need very shortly. So I'm going to get three of these slabs together and look at that. We get drying racks. Now these are going to be really important for this episode. So keep on watching because by the end of this episode, you're going to find out if we can actually grow unlimited iron just from one dirt tree. There we go. I just crafted nine drying racks. And another thing I want to do is a couple of things, actually. First of all, I want to make one of these. This is an oak cauldron. We're going to need this later on. Stay tuned. I'll show you why. And another thing we're going to need is this. We're going to have three wooden slabs on the bottom and two planks, and look at this. We have a crushing tub. There we go, that's all of the drying racks we're gonna need, and now you guys see these dirt acorns? By the way, I can eat these, so this is gonna be my source of food. I'm gonna be eating dirt on this sky island. Captain Flatulence, buddy, this was a terrible decision of yours. I don't wanna eat dirt, can you please stop? What I'm gonna do with these dirt acorns, I'm gonna need eight of these for this to work. Watch this, I'm gonna place them on the drying rack. Look at that. So these are now drying and I'm going to show you why we need this in a second. There we go. Look at this. These have now turned into petrified acorns. Look at this. So I now have six petrified acorns, which is going to be really useful. And I just realized I don't have enough. So while these are doing their thing, I'm going to do something else I kind of need right now. And like while I've been doing all these trees and stuff, that's storage. For some reason, you always need a maximum amount of storage in this game. So I'm going to create a couple of chests right here. I want everything to be as low as to the ground as possible and also close enough to this torch so that the mobs don't spawn on it because it would be kind of annoying if they did. And look at this, dude. We finally got enough of these petrified acorns to make something pretty special. Watch this. I'm going to put a dirt sapling in the center of this crafting table and then I'm going to put surround it with petrified acorns and we get a petrified sapling. Now, I'm going to grow this, twerk it to work it. There we go. Look at that. Okay, so now that's fully grown. Let me pick this up. Okay, so I've just picked it all up and we got a total of nine petrified resin, which watch this. Now that we've got six saplings and nine resin, this is how we create the first essential part of Sky Factory. 
We have just made cobblestone. Look at this thing. We've got cobblestone. We've only just started. And I just want to remind you guys, we started with a dirt sapling. And we ended up with a piece of cobblestone. Isn't that crazy? Now we have one singular piece of cobblestone. But by the end of the episode, we will have iron. We need to put petrified acorns into this crushing tub. Now watch this. I just got gravel acorns. Look at this. Now that I've got eight gravel acorns, watch this. We need, I think it's a petrified sapling surrounded with gra- There we go! We have a gravel sapling. This is the next part that's very essential to this sky factory. Okay, there we go. It's grown. Let me pick it up. There we go. And look at that. So now we have seven gravel acorns, which we just got from that sapling, and three more gravel saplings. Let me just farm this a little bit. And I'll be right back with you guys. Look at that. It actually drops flint as well, which might be useful for a later episode, but it's not useful for this. Oh, and my, my axe broke. Okay. Look at that. So now we have a ton of gravel acorns, but that's not all. Look at this. I'm going to put these gravel acorns inside this crushing tub. Watch this. Boom. Do you see that? <gasps> we just got sand acorns. Watch this. We're gonna make eight of these sand acorns and I think you guys know what's coming up next. So we're gonna surround this petrified sapling with eight sand acorns and look at this. We now have a sand sapling which is the start of almost everything in this series. So let's throw this. There we go. And let's cut this thing down and grab all of the sand and resin. Now, the thing we want to create is clay. To create clay, we need clay acorns. For clay acorns, we need a clay tree. So to get a clay sapling, what we need is petrified resin, dirt resin, and a dirt sapling. Clay sapling, there we go. And there we go, we clay acorn. <laughs> so to make clay, we just need this. There we go. We now have our first ever clay in this game. Now let me show you guys what I'm trying to create here first. So over here, there's a thing called a cobblestone generator. And if we click on this, we need a bucket. And to make a bucket, we can only make a clay bucket at the moment. So we're gonna need six cobblestone, a piece of glass, lava, which I'll explain how to get that in a second, water, and, well, glass. I'm going to need to make a cauldron out of cobblestone, and that takes seven cobblestone. We need to make a clay bucket. There we go. So that is an unfired clay bucket. So the problem with an unfired clay bucket is you can't put any liquid in it. I know. So what's the point of a bucket that you can't put liquid in it? We need to smelt this thing. We need to get coal, actually. So to get a coal sapling, we need a birch sapling, which actually I know how to get a birch sapling. For a birch sapling, we need to get water. For water, we need to make a pair of wooden shears. To make wooden shears, we just need this, this, that, and there we go. Now we need leaves. So let's get a dirt sapling. And then I need to grab its leaves with these shears. And I need to put all of these leaves in here. And there we go. So now, as you guys can see in the top middle of the screen, it says how many miller buckets there's in this crushing tub. It can hold up to eight buckets. We're now making a fired clay bucket. It's just a clay bucket, basically. And this will be able to hold liquid. So now I've got a clay bucket and I'm going to put this clay bucket of water in this thing right here. I'm going to clean off these saplings and make normal oak saplings. There we go. So now we've got normal saplings, but what we need is, well, we need um, birch saplings. So for that, we just take the sand ones and we do exactly the same thing 
as we did with the dirt trees. So, one, two, three, and four. So we just got four birch saplings. We're only going to need to burn these to get unlimited coal in this game. Okay, there we go. I just got a coal sapling, which is a coal lot of fun. <laughs> Leave a like if you like that joke. Just, I'm going to show you guys what we've been through so far. We created dirt saplings. We then created petrified saplings. We then created gravel saplings, sand saplings, which, by the way, that was from gravel acorns. We didn't even have to make the sapling for that. We just did. We then even made clay saplings. And then we made normal saplings, birch saplings, and finally, coal saplings. Just remember, this came from one dirt tree. Okay, so now comes the worrying part of this. I have four cobblestone right here, and this is what I'm going to do. I have to be really quick with this because this might set my whole island on fire. So uh, we don't want that to happen. But one, two, three, four, and bucket it. There we go. I just got lava, guys. Okay, okay, so I'm just gonna grab some water. There we go. So now we have basically all of the steps to an infinite cobblestone machine. Okay, we now have enough ingredients to make an infinite cobblestone generator. Look at this, okay. There we go, there we go. And the final piece, which glass, as you guys know, sand in a furnace, that's fine. There we go. A cobblestone generator. And it did consume the bucket of lava, but we have the infinite cobblestone generator. Look at this thing. This is sick. And you can just right, stay on right click on this thing and it generates unlimited cobblestone. So comment down below how many cobblestone you think we'll have by the next episode. Now we need to make iron amber. Iron Amber is a combination of sand, coal, gravel, and clay. And guess what we have? We have absolutely, oh, well, we did have, we, we do have, I promise we have. Now we have enough to make iron. Let's make, there we go, two Iron Amber. Okay, let's put this Iron Amber in the furnace with, uh, wait, can I use coal acorns? I can, holy crap, that's actually really cool. There we go, it's now turning this into iron ingots. So now we have iron ingots. We need to make an iron sapling. So next episode, we're gonna actually get into Tinker's Construct and create an iron sapling. That's right. That's gonna be really cool, because actually we can create Groot already. Like Groot, we've basically got everything we need to create Groot. So in the next episode, if you guys want to see a next episode on this, please make sure to leave like, subscribe, turn on notifications. We will create a big, humongous Tinker's Construct furnace. Basically a smeltery. We're gonna create a smeltery and we're gonna make iron saplings and then we might start the huge step of automating our entire sky factory which is going to be really cool so stick around and uh, i'll see you all in the next video peace out everybody